I think for a lot of my life, I didn't really know what my identity was. For a lot of time, I think I put it into creating. And before I knew, I had a love for creating, and I think I just put it into what was around me. I followed anything my friends did. It took me some time, but I don't think I really realized I wasn't sure of who I was entirely. And even still, sometimes I feel like I'm just a blend of what is around me, which I'm not angry at, because I feel it allows me to relate to more people. But at the same time, I do wonder, who am I? I recently came home from living in New York for the past couple months. It's my first time living by myself, so I've had a lot of time to think and to grow and work on my character. I think these journal entries help a lot with realizing where I'm at and how far I've come. And I've been writing, I've been writing a lot more about self-care and health, mental health. I want to be fully myself and not just the effects of my experiences. But I think these past couple months have taught me that one, who you are around will affect you and will shape your character if you allow it. And two, freeing yourself from their influence can help you see who you were created to be. Recently, my desires and prayers have shifted to be. Who am I created to be? And what am I supposed to do before I leave this earth? I think it's its own form of self-care.